Good morning, everyone. Uh, Yatiana, I think she might have a connection issue. I don't see her online. Um, okay, so good morning. It's the 20th of September. We're getting close to the end. Uh, we're into week 11. Uh, I think everyone's got the weekly challenge. So I have just two quick announcements that I'm going to hand over to Yatiana. Um, so first of all, good morning. I hope everyone had a restful weekend. People could relax and do some non-work-related things. Um, hopefully not everyone was hanging out on their laptop or their phones. <clears throat> there was perhaps, hopefully, some uh, non-electronic related stuff. Two announcements from my side. One is um, there's some really good progress that we've seen happening with the profile. So I wrote a message late Saturday night and uh, there's a good jump that's happening in a number of the profiles. So don't, um, I know it's a lot of work and I know it's difficult, but I believe and I think the whole team believes that the work that you're investing now in building your profiles is not just to get this job, but it's building a foundation for the profiles that you can continue to update. So it's very hard to set, uh, to get it right the first time, but once you get a good foundation, it's easier to continue to update in future. So please do put the work in. There's some ex excellent examples that we've shared. So look around, but showcasing what you are doing in a uh, in the right structure and in the right um, frame of what employers are looking for. Um, is very important. And so I've had at least one message from a person who said that this person didn't feel ready for the world of work. And so I challenge this person, I would challenge anyone here who doesn't feel ready for the world of work anywhere in the world to send me the job that they don't feel ready for. And then we can break it down. So we're getting to the point where you should be ready for any entry level job, either in ML engineering or data engineering. And if you find a job that you don't feel ready for, send it to me. I'd love to talk it through and to break it down and to see if there are gaps, how do we address those gaps. So that's one. Um, we heard some of your feedback in the last week. So we have a talk next week from a data engineer from batch three. She's working at Safaricom, so she's going to talk next week. We have three guest talks this week. Lots and lots of guest talks that are happening. Um, important for everyone to be at every single guest talk because there's a lot of good knowledge that will be shared. Um, we have one on Wednesday, and unfortunately, due to scheduling, we have two on Thursday. So we have three people. All of them happen to be working in Germany. We have uh, Ben, who's a contact of Yeva Bells, who's a senior data scientist, senior scientist, and I believe a data scientist lead at Carl Zeiss. So Zeiss makes lenses and other vision technology. We have somebody who helped us put together this week's challenge, Stefan Klaus, who's a... Um, his, I have to look up his title. It's a, it's in the schedule. So he's working at an Airbnb competitor, vacation rentals. I think he's the head of analytics at home to go And then we have somebody who's the head of AI at uh, Infineon, which is the, uh, I believe you could say it's the semiconductor division or the chip division of Siemens, and it was spun out. So three really interesting guest talks. Um, and the other announcement that I wanted to make before handing over is that we have, um, people have been asking about how to ask questions. So this week's non-technical challenge is how to ask questions. And so there's a framework that we will provide and that's going to, uh, we're going to start something right away today at 11 o'clock UTC, just before the Q and A session. Um, please join us on the schedule. We're going to do a group brainstorming session on how do you ask questions? And we're gonna come up with a list of good questions and we're going to be using a framework that um, there is perhaps no perfect framework, but it's a framework that resonates with us. And so this week's non-technical challenge will be how to ask good questions, and we're going to start off today at 11 o'clock. Um, office hours are there. Um, so that's all from my side in terms of announcements. I think Yatiana is here, so I'm going to hand over to her. Thank you so much, Aaron. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing this morning? Yeah, sorry, I muted myself there. Sorry about that. How are you guys doing this morning? How is everyone doing? I hope we're all great. Today is Monday, the start of week 11, and we have come this far, okay? So Alan has made all the 
necessary announcements for this morning. So for this morning's standoff, really, we would love to know how you guys are feeling, what's going on with you, what are you looking forward to this week, and adding a bonus, tell us how you spent the weekend, tell us how you relaxed, and what you did during this weekend, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select just one person to get the ball rolling and then we are hoping that people would voluntarily raise their hands so that everyone well almost everyone can have a go okay so i'm going to start the ball rolling with the last person here on my list and that is zelalem zelalem good morning can you join us hello hi how are you I'm fine. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. Uh, from my side, I think uh, last week was uh, effective in terms of uh, upgrading my profile. Uh, I had, and I think, major modifications since the first round. And uh, uh, regarding this week, uh, I think it's a great project. Uh, I will have a chance to revise uh, my airflow, which I didn't do well on the last project. So I think this time I will have a good interaction with airflow and uh, I will also add some other new te tech tools like DBT on my tech stack. So I'm feeling good overall. Okay, thank you so much for starting the ball rolling. And we already have one trainee telling us that you're feeling good overall. So let's just go with the flow and let's see who wants to just go next. I'd also like to hear from Yosef. <clears throat> Can, is, is Yosef here? I want to hear from Yosef as well. Yosef Almana. Yeah, he's here. We'll hear from him after Nat Nile, because Nat Nile raised the hand. Okay, good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? Okay, I'm feeling good. Uh, so, for this week, the project seems interesting. And uh, I have read the, the document. Uh, there are some things I need to work on. So, I'm hopeful it will be a nice learning week. And uh, for the weekend, I have spent uh, the weekend watching TikTok. I haven't watched TikTok for a long time, so I think I enjoyed it. <laughs> TikTok, okay. Did you make any TikTok videos? Nah, nah. <laughs> okay. Okay, nah, nah. thank you so much. So, um, okay. yes, sir. Can you join us this morning? Hello. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah, um, you are a bit, you sound low. I don't know if you can speak up a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what's the question? Okay, so we really want we really want to know how you're feeling this morning. We want to know what you're looking forward to this coming week. And um, how did you spend the weekend? What did you do? Uh, I spent the weekend uh, at uh, at my uncle's with my cousins. And uh, this week I'm looking forward to uh, doing the challenge. Um, and uh, like the Zalalum said, uh, I had trouble with the flow myself. I like to refine my data engineering skills with by focusing very well on this challenge. Okay. Okay. So, any other plan for this week? Um, and I would also like to um, improve my my profile. Okay. Okay. So it sounds like you have a busy week ahead of you, so I'm hoping you 
great productive. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yeah, so um, who wants to go next? Not now. Thank you. I hear you, Pete. I hear you. Hey, how how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, uh, I spent my weekend with my family. Uh, I traveled to my family. My family lives in Adama, so the weekend I spent, I traveled to Adama and uh, I spent with them. And uh, I just back this morning to Addis. So I'm good. Uh, and uh, for me, this quick challenge, I think there are some new skills uh, and I have some issue with airflow and uh, I will update myself with that. Uh, and uh, for this week, I have to update also my portfolio. So I will work on that. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that, for that, that now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so um, Kate, I see you raised your hand. How are you this morning? Hi, Atiana, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. So what's good on your end? Yeah, um, I I just read the this week's challenge and I'm also excited to do it because I chose to focus on data engineering and I feel like it's a good opportunity to improve or get to know some other skills like uh, especially Airflow. I didn't particularly touch on that myself in the other challenge. So yeah, I'm excited to do a quick challenge and uh, yeah, over the weekend I spent it with friends and yeah, it was a, it was a good weekend. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. And um, yeah, it's good to be excited about the, the challenge. And I'm sure that would help you be more focused on schedule three. Um, I see that Mubarak raised his hand. Mubarak, good morning. Um, I'm not sure you're speaking, but you're muted. If you can hear me. Uh, good morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. So what's good on your end? What are you looking forward to this week? How did you spend the weekend? Oh, um, my weekend, I was working on my program, my GitHub, trying to update my readme file. And I just read the document this morning. I'm really excited about the, ch the challenge because I chose data engineering and it will give me an opportunity to work with <clears throat> the technologies and particularly Airflow. I was having a very serious issue with Airflow last week. So I think this week I'll be able to you know, rectify the issues and all. Okay, straight to the point. I like that. So how did you spend the weekend? I was just moving around, like just walking around. <laughs> really? The entire yeah. weekend just walking around? Yes, I was, I was trying not to stay indoor because I oh, stay okay. indoor too much. Okay, okay, okay. That's still something. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, Bethlehem, good morning. Hi, Yati. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Hi. So last week I was also working on my profile. I had made some improvements on it. And for the weekend, I was out of Addis and I just came back yesterday. And last night I read the challenge document and it's another data engineering project. So I'm really hopeful that it's going to help me to enhance my skills on that. And yeah, that's basically it. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, I'm sure you had a lovely weekend, Bethlehem. I'm sure about that. Okay, so um, Jakinda, how are you? Hi, Eti, how are you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. So what's good on your end? Uh, what's good on my end? Uh, I'm doing fine, it's a new, it's a new week. I'm excited. 
during the weekend, uh, I, I did my profile and then submitted that. I'm still waiting for feedback, uh, detailed feedback. Um, what else? Uh, during the weekend, I also spent on Saturday cleaning the house and doing laundry, all that. And then um, on Sunday, I went to church and uh, attended a friend's party. So, yeah, uh, I've checked the pro uh, the project of this week. Uh, I think it's a uh, it's an exciting project because we get to work with uh, Airflow again and Spark and try new new tools. Like uh, I've seen there's a uh, uh, DBT and Redash things that I've never had before. So, I think it's it's exciting to just learn new stuff, use new technology, and yeah, I think it's going to be good. Okay, that's the general spirit that we're looking for. Even though it's something new to you, but then you still need to be, you know, excited to try out new things. So thank you so much for that, Jacinda. Um, I don't see any more hands up, so who wants to go next? And also, um, there's a message for any acquaintance or friend of Abraham to get him to join this morning stand up. So you could just send him a DM. Okay, so who wants to go next? And suddenly it's so quiet. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm going to start the ball rolling again. Okay, Behigo, okay. Thank you for saving the day, Behigo. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, how are you doing, Yati? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I'm doing good as well. I I saw the, the comment for this week and it's on data engineering which is uh, good and supportive for me because I didn't perform well on the week nine and 10. I had uh, some personal issues and it was a holiday too, so I didn't do well on that. And now I get uh, another chance to do on data engineering, which is an interesting and a brand new opportunity and challenge for me. So. Um, I'm eager to dive into it. I'm seeing and reading about it. That's all. Okay, so what about the weekend? What did you do? The weekend was pretty much a resting week. As I told you, I had some things to do. And on the weekends, I pretty much stayed home and I go out for a walk around the evening with friends that was it okay at least let's do something okay thank you for that video thank you um who wants to go next we just want to know how you're feeling what you're looking forward to this week and um any comments on the challenge if you've looked at it anything and how you spent the weekend so we just want to get the flow Okay. Okay. So um, let's hear from let's hear from Elias. Morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. So okay. like last week, this challenge was like a break for me. Like all we have to do was input to make some improvement on the profile. So, and yesterday I was playing chess with some friends. So that was also a break for me. Now I'm just looking into the challenge document and it seems interesting. So like, I'm, I'm excited for this challenge. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, let's see someone that we don't hear a lot from. Um, Okay, Daniel. Hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so last week uh, I was updating my profile. I did some improvement, I believe. And uh, in the weekends, I, I went out to meet my friends and to get some relax. 
and also I was playing chess with uh, Elias in the Zalala, and uh, that was also good. So for this week challenge, I believe that it gave me another opportunity to enhance my skill on data engineering because I'm not still confident on my data engineering skills. So this week challenge gave me that opportunity again. So I'm delightful. And uh, one another thing I want to ask is if it is possible, if the AWS instance is created again for this week challenge, it will, it will be great, I think, because uh, for example, for me specifically, I was having issue in installing Docker and Airflow on my PC because I have to upgrade my OS, but if, uh, and also some of the data engineering uh, tools needs some computation, I believe. So if the AWS instance is created for this week challenge, it will be great, I think. Thanks. Okay, thank you for that, um, Daniel. Um, I see that Malice is here. Uh, Malice, I'm sure you heard the suggestion from Daniel. So anything that we decide, I'm sure they'll let you guys know, except someone has an answer for that. Okay. Um, so I, mean, I, 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 can, I, can, I can respond for that. Unfortunately, we haven't planned it, and unfortunately, that means budgeting. So we will probably unable, but if there is just a very, very special request, maybe, maybe, like I'm not promising, um, just for one or few people who really couldn't do much in their computer, we might be able to instantiate one just so that it can work. But this week is expected for you guys to work locally, in, uh, install uh, all the files and kind of like dockerize everything, you know, as it's written there. So we expect this week to happen um, locally. But if there are, yeah, especially because you couldn't just do on your computer because of many things, then we might like let's let's take it as exceptional cases, and we might. But we are not planning to instantiate instance just for purely budget reason, nothing more. Okay. And Zalalem, thank you for letting us know about Abraham. Okay, thank you so much for that, Yavaba. Um, I didn't know you were here. Thank you. Um, so anyone else? We still have some time. We have about six minutes left. So give or take five to six more people can go. Ibola, good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I am doing good. Uh, yeah, last week was uh, a good week. It's sort of uh, a look back at what we have done so far. Uh, I have. I tried to look at some of my repos in the works I have done and uh, just focus on the things that I can improve. Uh, yeah, that was what I was doing uh, Yeah, last week besides working on my profile. And on the weekends, I was just <laughs> having fun with my sisters. Uh, yeah, and for this week, I'm really excited because we have some some know-how on airflow and some of the tools so i'm glad we get to work on them again okay okay that's that's good so um i'm sure that you all can see the connection of every challenge that you do every week how one challenge this up to the next so that's good Deborah, thank you so much for sharing with us yeah thank you yeah yeah so any other person Mbani, thank you. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good morning, Yati. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's been long. All right. So last week was last week was okay for me because we had to take a break from all the technical things and then just work on the on the profiles. So that was good. And also, since I think just 
uh, on Friday, I took a break, so I came back today and I'm refreshed and I'm excited for this week's challenge. Okay, um, have you had a chance to look at the challenge document? Uh, yes, I've taken a look at it and I have some questions which I hope will be answered in the, during the tutorial. So, yeah. okay. okay, okay, so that's good, that's good. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so anyone else? Afton, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. So uh, last week I was uh, updating my profile, but uh, I'm not still satisfied. I want to uh, keep updating my prof profile and my CV. And uh, this morning I was looking at uh, this week's challenge and uh, I'm really excited because uh, I want to improve my data engineering skills. So. Okay, um, I think you're breaking up. Sorry? Yeah, I think you were breaking up. Or probably it was my network, but anyway, um, can you just repeat what you were trying to say? Okay, last week I was uh, working on my uh, updating my profile and uh, I want to keep updating my profile and my CV because uh, I'm not sp still satisfied with it. And uh, this morning I was looking at uh, this week's challenge and I'm really uh, excited because uh, that is the, what I planned to improve on to be a T-shaped person, I want to work on uh, data engineering skills. So, let's see. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for that. Okay, okay. so yeah, so I'm going to select the last two people to go. So um, let's hear from Saba. Saba, how are you? How are you, Yeti? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. So what's good on your end? Have you had a chance to look at the challenge documents for this week? What are you looking forward to accomplishing this week? And um, how did you spend the weekend, the last weekend? Okay, the last weekend I was looking uh, to my profile. I was uh, updated in my CV also, and I got also a lot of issue in my GitHub, and I tried to look for it and update it. Um, and I didn't see well the this week challenge, but I see only we working on data engineering, and that's good for me because I choose to be data engineer. That's that's all. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that, Sabra. So, um, yeah, thank you. So the last person that we're going to hear from this morning is Biniam. Biniam, to say? Hello. Good morning. How are you? Uh, hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So what's good on your end? What's happening? Uh, okay. Uh, last week was a good week. Uh, we had a little bit of break. So at that time, I had a chance to update my profile uh, and work on my uh, GitHub too. And in the weekend, I was <clears throat> able to watch soccer after a long, long time. Uh, and then in this week's challenge, uh, I have seen it's a data engineering uh, challenge and I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, yes. So we are out of time for this morning stand up, but um, please do not forget to always check the schedule. Okay. To know what 
going on to know when you're supposed to have the Q&A. And also, as Alan has mentioned, we have three guest talks this week. So please try as best as possible to be a part of it, okay? Because it is something you really don't want to miss out on. Um, Yababel, um, I don't know if you have anything else you might want to add. No, I think I don't, but um, just, yeah, we will have probably later session about this week's expectations, but I think most of it is written. And um, yeah, good luck. I think this is going to be slightly different. And I hope that you will definitely bring all the lessons that you have learned from last week and from before as well to create. I think we're asking a little bit more, um, but hopefully then it will be fine and you will tie together all the knowledge just under one piece where, you know, it's like the challenge of creating a functional data platform um, is something that, and in SQL also we haven't focused before um, in any of the actively measuring. So this week will give us an opportunity also to learn a bit more about your advanced, if you are already advanced skill on, on SQL, um, or if not just uh, you will have the opportunity to learn and improve because that's something that you are a lot of jobs are asking so make sure that you know you you design kind of like what it what it means like a schema you know you've designed your a little bit future proof and stuff like that and, and think about the different elements and i think yeah populating creating the database populating the database and creating the database will be something useful so uh, make sure to show that skill or to learn that skill um, along the way, because that's key. So yeah, good luck. I think that's all from my side. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Yababel, if you could help me stop this morning's recording, I'm using my phone, so we can move on to the Ask Me Anything session.